What's going on guys? This is going to be a real quick tutorial again working with our static variables within our picture class because we want our game to get more difficult as uh, it progresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a very quick uh, static integer value that's going to be our level. So we're going to set our level equal to be zero to start out with. Makes sense. You know, or, what, zero? I mean one. Alright, one makes sense. Um, zero makes sense as well. Whatever. Whatever you guys want to do. Actually, don't do whatever you want to do. Start out with a one. And because what we're going <laughs> to... Uh, because the reason that I need you guys to start out at least at a one is because this is going to be the speed of our platforms. So as you can see, as the level gets higher, our platforms are going to move quicker and quicker. Pretty awesome, right? Alright, so we have our variable set up within, our, again, our picture class. So let's go into our platform class. Alright, so as you can see, uh, the basic concept, what we're going to do is set our dx value to be whatever our level class is. We could do that within this platform constructor, but again, we only construct seven platforms for our entire game and have that within the array, and those just cycle through our game. So it's only going to construct those seven applets most likely within the first level so it won't even matter right here but where it is going to matter is within our update method where again we change the value of our x by whatever our speed is or a dx so what we're going to do instead is say negative and then we're going to refer to our pictures class again the level so right now it's going to be negative one uh, which is basically the same as saying negative dx because our dx value is set equal to negative one. Um, but as the game gets uh, more and more advanced, because again this level is a static variable within our picture class, it's going to affect this change in dx for our platform speed. So we got that set up. Um, lastly, we actually have to increase the level. So we're going to go to our starting point class and as you can see here, I set up a integer value um, called level check so let's set that equal to be zero to start out with all this is going to do is each time it loops through our thread we're going to add one to our current level check so let's run down to a run method again um, and within our while statement or within our while loop here we're going to set up our if uh, level check is less than or is greater than I should say 1000 or 100 just for this example so you guys can actually see it you know speed up when I run it um, again you guys can do 1000 here um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna say pictures dot level uh, plus plus so that's gonna add one to our level and then we're gonna set our level check back equal to zero so it can count back up again to over 100 last thing that we have to do is increase our level check because otherwise it's always going to be zero so we're just going to say level check uh, plus plus pretty simple um, and also one other thing I want to show you guys uh, is for our website my bring back we are doing a new little thing where us as a community you guys um, us will see what we can do to help others uh, because that's what we're about is helping others um, and so what we're going to do is on our home page we're going to have either a little section how we can help with pretty much doing nothing for example one of my friends is doing a contest uh, she's a graphic designer and she's trying to win free ink for a company um, so they can print shirts uh, and all we have to do is vote on Facebook so I just that's kind of our promotion or the way that we can help um, her and her company uh, right now just by going to her Facebook page, click that link there, and this is her design, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you can thumbs it up and say, hey, Travis sent me here, um, good luck. Uh, but uh, that's how that's gonna work. So we're gonna have a new little section. If you guys need some help somehow, um, you know, shoot us an email, and we might promote you right on the home page of our website. So again, go there, guys, and help her out if you could. That'd be awesome. And let's run our application. Sorry, that's kind of a tricking you uh, we don't have anything else to do with our tutorial just wanted to kind of promote that new little feature we have in our website so here you go uh, each time our basically our score gets a new hundred it's gonna speed up our platforms um, obviously uh, this is gonna actually make our game easier if our speed is super fast because our platforms are gonna be regenerating so we're gonna have to uh, 
delete some of these platforms as our level gets higher and higher, uh, which we will do eventually, but as for now, it looks like it's working, it's speeding up, but uh, again, we probably want to change that variable instead of being 100 to maybe like 1,000. So thanks again for watching, guys. Catch you later.